It's been really wonderful to be with you. It's been wonderful. Except for that whole poop thing. We are leaving. And I look at Betty and, and I'm like, what is that smell? And we just kind of ignored it. We're like, oh. Well, we kept right. driving. And then I turn around and look and there's water coming out of the shower. When we picked up this particular vehicle, uh, the guy we got it from, he's like, oh, the, the, it's a little finicky. The, you know, don't worry if the tank says it's full. Well, that was a big freaking mistake because now we're like knee deep. Okay, not really knee deep. So we got this thing so that we could go to the bathroom, pee and poo and, and shower and wash your face with warm water and do all of these things. None of it's working. No, we decided we're not gonna let that ruin our time. <laughs> and we went over to Bryce Canyon. It is beautiful. It, it is beautiful. And we have been blessed by this kind of snowy, cold weather that we weren't expecting. What do you yeah. think, beloved? I think it's a great place to stop here in the freezing cold to have lunch. Freaking like 40 degrees and it's snowing. 335. And this thing is like a little rock. But in some ways kind of made things interesting and nice. Layers of clothes so no one smells. Well, we do kind of smell. When we take the layers <laughs> off, you're like, whoa. So what was your favorite thing about Bryce? The hoodoos. The hoodoos? I never knew about the hoodoos. And they're like my friends. There are hoodoos everywhere. There are hoodoos everywhere. We did kind of go on this little loop hike and then we went off trail. Um, and uh, interesting things happened when we went off trail. What? Please don't go any far. No, don't go any farther than that. Don't go any farther than that. No, don't go any farther than that. That's plenty far because, because it makes me scared. Gusts of wind. wind and I'm like there goes my freaking wife down into the gully and I got to explain to the kids what happened to her <laughs> Do I have boogers in my nose? <sighs> I think I do So then we're at Ruby's and that's when the RV um, tech showed up Mick Mick showed up totally salt of the earth nice guy older guy had his nephew with him as his helper crawled under the RV We put it up on blocks. I'm down there in the dirt turning things on and off with him and no love, no love at all. Because this RV is like fancy pants RV. Mick's like. He asked yeah. for the manual. Yeah, he's like, <laughs> nah, I don't know about this. He goes, if it was a Winnebago, I'd have no problem with it. But this thing, and so there's a tank issue and suffice it to say that it is not advised to drop any solid waste in the system. <laughs> From Bryce, we went over to Capitol Reef. So Capitol Reef might have been my favorite place. And it was so nice that we actually stayed an extra day. Mm -hmm. And it is the one place where we did the dispersed camping. Yeah, it was great. Finally, I spent the first two days in Zion trying to get out of the KOA doing dispersed. Beautiful, beautiful vistas and sunrises and sunsets because the spots are really beautiful. And dispersed camping is where we found the second issue with the van that we like to call van go. Somehow along the way, there's some valve that opened and anytime we turned the, the pump on. Water pump. The water pump on, which is supposed to charge the system wash and then stop. Wash your face or wash the dishes. All of a sudden it's dumping water out of the back end, this little tube. That's not what we signed up for with with the van here. Well, here's, here's a takeaway on this. I, I believe that I needed a toilet, a shower, hot water, cold water, a flushing toilet, and all these things, including the microwave. And here we are on day 14, 13 or 14 today, and we've gotten through with a place to pee. The next time we do this, and there will be a next time, we're gonna simplify. By the way, there will be a next time. We talked about that last night. I said, would you do this again? And he said, yes. And I'm like, yay. He's been my coffee angel every morning. He does make coffee. I get up, I put my clothes on. <laughs> if it's not windy, I take my little camp stove outside and I enjoy the outside mm -hmm. and I make my bride coffee and she's very happy. Calf Creek Lower Falls Trail. Calf Creek Lower Falls Trail. And um, my wife, Betty, is pretty smart because she said, let's go late in the day when it's not so crowded. And I think that may have been because she wanted to sleep in bed. But regardless, it is much warmer than it would have been. And there are fewer people. But the best part about this day so far is when we got to the lower falls of the, of the, of the 
<laughs> Calf Creek Trail. Who was surprised that there were falls there? It was a big surprise. <laughs> I had no idea. And there was water coming out of it. And it's so fun to be with her because she's so often surprised by things. Look, she's got gloves that she's not wearing. <laughs> so this is a benefit of, of planning at the very last minute. I found this place, Yonder RV Camp. Wow. Wow. Bougie. Bougie as flip. I mean... Um, they had white towels and product. Oh, oh, and they had a drive-in movie. We are at the drive-in. No kidding, they have all these decommissioned cars. Let me show you if you can see any of them. And behind us. Behind us, all around us. And you just kind of pile into the car and they give you some popcorn and we're gonna watch E.T. Don't know if you can see it, but that's definitely snow blowing in. I didn't dress for snow. And on the way home here, we are traveling back through Nevada and we're traveling Highway 50, the, the loneliest, loneliest road, road in, in America. America. And lonely it is. And lonely it is, but we have stopped at, we have overnighted at three different spots because we're breaking the drive up and it has been an absolute treat. And I personally had a vision in my head of what Nevada was like and so far, it has just been beautiful. It's really very beautiful. Very, very desolate, very dry, very, um, but right now we're facing snowy mountains, which is why we're so cold. Um, I can't bend my fingers. Look. <laughs> and over the last couple of weeks, I think that Betty and I have gotten into a rhythm on multiple levels from kind of how efficient we are at moving things around and working together. And finding things. And finding, well, that's right. We still her. haven't found the earplugs. <laughs> But when this trip started out, when this trip started out, let, let's be honest here. We've, okay, okay, let's be honest. It's cold. It's we've been, raining. We've never really spent this much time with each other. Alone. No kids, no work. No internet. The bottom line here is we would do this again. We are absolutely no longer van virgins, van life virgins. Um, this is my life partner, and um, I love her very much. I thought you were talking about Van Gogh. No. <laughs> and spending this time has been and special in so many ways that I look forward to doing it with you again. I love you. I love you too.